The doctor accused of putting poison into IV bags did not testify in his own defense. His lawyers wrapped up their portion of the case late this afternoon. Fox News' Lori Brown is live with more. Lori. Stories after the defense rested, the government brought back several witnesses for rapid fire rebuttals to what the defense witnesses had described as normal behavior for an anesthesiologist. An anesthesiologist spent three hours testifying as a hired defense expert for Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz. Defense attorneys went through 12 patients that all had unexpected cardiac emergencies at Baylor Scott & White Surgery Care in North Dallas between May and August of 2022. That is the time frame prosecutors contend Dr. Ortiz was secretly injecting drugs into IV bags that were then given to patients causing the life-threatening reactions. The expert tried to cast doubt, telling the jury there could be other their medical conditions that cause the emergencies. Former U.S. Attorney Paul Coggins, who is now a white collar crimes attorney, talked about that strategy. The government never likes to have a case where it's expert versus expert because that's almost the definition of reasonable doubt. After 18 year old Jack Adlerstein nearly died, according to his doctors at the Surgic Care Center, another IV bag with a puncture hole was found in the same warmer. That bag tested positive for epinephrine. Earlier Wednesday, the defense called a fingerprint expert with the Dallas Police Department who testified that the only fingerprint on the IV bag did not belong to Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz. The absence of a print is sort of like the absence of a dog barking. You know, it's it's a favorable fact for the defense and both, you know, the prosecution has conceded they didn't have fingerprint evidence here. The jury will receive their charge tomorrow morning and hear closing arguments starting at 9.30 a.m. Clarice. Lori Brown live at the Earl Campbell Federal Building. Lori, thank you.